So this is a flow chart indicating this. So the starting point is when the TSB exceeds escalation of care level and uh, is the baby at appropriate location. If they are not, contact the NICU, arrange for transfer. In addition, start intensive phototherapy and peroral or IV hydration during the transfer. If they are already in a good unit who can do the exchange, then you send the stat labs as we discussed, notify the blood bank, measure the bilirubin at least every two hours, and intensive phototherapy and peroral or IV hydration, and the immunoglobulin therapy and bilirubin albumin measurement options can be considered. Acute bilirubin encephalopathy or uh, latest TSB is above, then urgent exchange transfusion should be done. Uh, if uh, the baby doesn't meet the exchange uh, level, you can continue intensive phototherapy and hydration and measure every two hours till you de-escalate. Uh, in terms of hemolysis, you also have entitled carbon monoxide measurements. Most of the units do not have that and that's an indirect marker for uh, hemolysis. These are the exchange transfusion charts, uh, two different charts, one for babies with new, no risk factors for neurotoxicity and uh, you have for 35, 36, 37 and more than 38. So again, all the babies more than 38 weeks are clubbed together because there is no evidence that they tolerate the neurotoxicity better. And uh, you can see here for a term, maybe 38 weeks, exchange is around 27 milligrams percent by uh, day three, day four. And you can see what I mean in the first 24 hours for these babies, even at a level of uh, 22, 21, for example, and in the first uh, six hours, even a level of 16 would be indicating exchange transfusion. So uh, obviously they have revised these levels. It's better than the previous charts as well in terms of the number. It has been slightly pushed up, which uh, reduces overreaction. This is the one with neurotoxicity uh, risk factors. Again, uh, 35, 36, 37 and more than 38 weeks. So they don't really discuss babies under 35 weeks and uh, most of us follow the NICE UK charts where we have separate charts for the babies uh, for each gestation from 23, 24 weeks onwards in the NICE UK charts. For the babies above 35 weeks, the AAP charts are better. Most of us are using the Billy tool, for example. I have not checked if it has been updated, but we should be watching for the updated version until then have these charts readily available in our mobile phone and printouts in the unit as well. So one more point about the exchange transfusion is that uh, we should be targeting 40% uh, hematocrit so that there is more albumin and less uh, red blood cells which can bind the bilirubin better because the purpose of exchange transfusion is for the bilirubin to be bound by albumin and removed when you are removed.